It's day two. This is Paul Davis. I decided to try to find somebody else to teach whatever the cage system still is, but now I'm understanding it. It's inversions. And once I understood that that's all this is, is guitar players not using the term inversions, um, they're using shapes. And so now I'm gonna try to go for it and see if I understand it better because now I know it. I'm really just inverting the chords. The next note is the bass note. Uh, I'm gonna try this today. Oh, Paul Davis, this dude, I think I saw someone say he is the Bob Ross of guitar. It is true. If you want to learn guitar, he has such a mellow way of teaching it. It's very neat. So I'm glad I found this cat. I had done a video with one of his other things about how to funk, and I played the other instruments behind what he was doing, and it was a lot of fun. He was a lot of fun to play behind. So I'm going to try to do his version of this cage system and see if I can get any better. Here we go. Okay, I've got a little bit of it down, and I understand that it's, it's not just an inversion because you need to keep the root note the same, which is the first note of the chord. I don't really understand how to use this yet, but I'm trying to memorize the shapes. He kept talking about an F shape, but <laughs> Cage doesn't have the letter F. I didn't really understand. It sounds really pretty, and it sounds like everything that comes out of the chili pepper stuff. I gotta work on the D chord still and figure out how to make that move around and figure out exactly how to make it work. And I think that's my chord that I'm gonna have to struggle with to try to figure out how am I gonna be able to use this. That that crazy G thing. I don't really get that one either. Oh well. <laughs> Day two. Bye.